why I quit eating vegetables. In this video, I'm gonna give you three reasons why I quit eating vegetables even though I'm vegan. Now you might think, as a vegan, shouldn't you be eating a lot of vegetables? Aren't they high in minerals? Aren't they high in other phytonutrients? Aren't they supposed to be super healthy for you? How could you possibly quit eating vegetables? What else are you going to eat, Ted? Well, I still remember as a kid I never liked vegetables. It's now been 28 years later and I still don't like vegetables. First reason I quit eating vegetables is because vegetables simply don't taste amazing on their own. And why would I wanna go through life eating food that doesn't taste amazing on its own? Like, I shouldn't have to add salt to something to make it taste good. I shouldn't have to, uh, sorry, <clears throat> I shouldn't have to need to cook something to make it taste good. I shouldn't need to have to combine and mix the food to make it taste good with, with other foods. I should be able to eat a food on its own and have it taste amazing. I find when I do that, when I eat foods that taste great on their own and taste amazing, I feel amazing. That's what I've noticed. It's a trend. Whenever I eat delicious food on its own, I'm like, yes, this tomato's the best. Yes, this peach is the best. Yes, this watermelon's the best. I feel my best. And if I'm eating foods that taste meh, whatever, like I'm eating this because medical medium says I should eat it, or I'm eating this because so-and-so says I should eat it, I'm eating this because it's blah, 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 like some learned thing, I just don't feel my best. I'm like, oh, that's kind of disappointing. So that's the main reason why I don't eat vegetables. They just don't taste that great on their own, especially not compared to fruit. Now you might say, Ted, vegetables do taste good. You just haven't had good ones. The best tasting vegetables are actually the fruits that people consider vegetables, like red bell peppers and cucumbers and zucchinis and, and avocados, for example. Those taste amazing, but they're actually fruit. So I agree. Some vegetable, vegetables do taste great, but they're actually fruit. The other like true, true vegetables, things like cauliflower and things like broccoli and things like carrots and things like you know, celery, they taste all right, I guess, but I'm never like jumping for joy with vegetables. I don't go to the store and I get excited about vegetables. I never have. I don't know anyone else that does, but I see kids freak out about the fruit. I see parents freak out about the fruit. Like, taste, well, it tastes so good. I see myself and all my friends freak out about the fruit. We have fruit festivals around the world. We don't have vegetable festivals. Vegetable festivals sound so boring, dude. Don't ever get me to go to a vegetable festival. I won't go, I won't speak, I won't present, I won't be a guest. But a fruit fest, sign me up, baby. All right, so that's the first reason. Second reason why I don't eat vegetables is because they just don't digest that well. Let's be honest here. What is optimal digestion? We hear a lot of people talking about digesting and what is good digestion and all that stuff. Digestion is when you're not farting. Digestion is when you don't feel like you have a brick in your stomach. Digestion is when, good digestion, is when you don't feel like you're digesting anything. Great digestion is when you still have energy after the meal. Great digestion is not being constipated. Great digestion is not having diarrhea. Great digestion is having just smooth stools come out. Great digestion is being regular and just feeling good about yourself in general. You have, having good digestion, it's, it's, it's a, it's a really, really important factor in, in health and well-being, in your mental well-being, in your emotional well-being, okay? So vegetables don't digest that well because they're rock freaking hard. If they were soft and buttery like an avocado or a papaya or a peach or a mango, then I'm sure vegetables would digest great. In fact, if you cook a vegetable, it becomes a hell of a lot softer, doesn't it? If you cook a potato, oh, all of a sudden it becomes soft, you can almost rub it into your skin. If you cook a carrot, it just becomes mush. If you cook broccoli, cauliflower, it becomes mush. Awesome, that's gonna digest way better. And I recommend cooking your vegetables if you wanna eat a lot of them. Don't eat them raw. You're better off cooking them or you're better off juicing them. So, that's the second reason. They just don't digest that well raw and they're bound to cause gas. Now you might think, well, Ted, if they're better cooked, why don't you eat them cooked? Because even if they eat them cooked, they're still extremely low in calories. Okay, this is the third reason. Vegetables are just low in calories in general. Not only low in calories, but they're low in vitamins. Like, why would I want to eat something that's low in calories? There's no point. I don't eat for entertainment. I eat so I can stop being hungry. I eat because I want to really enjoy the food that I'm eating. That's it, the two reasons why I eat. Number one is to stop the, the hunger, not that I ever feel hungry, but just to prevent hunger, I guess, and to fuel my body, fuel my muscles, fuel my brain with, with nutrients. So it's like a need, and then the other reason I eat is just for the good taste. I like the way food tastes, I love the way it makes me feel as I'm eating it. 
higher the quality fruit, the better I feel whilst I'm eating it. So those are the really only two reasons I eat. And vegetables, they don't meet any of those, they don't fit, fill any of those needs. They don't give me the calories I'm looking for and they don't give me the taste I'm looking for. So that's it. Uh, any other reasons why I don't eat vegetables? No, not really, that's all I wrote down. Um, what else do I eat? Instead, I focus on the fruit and I recommend you do the same. Once I shifted, I remember when I first went raw, I was focusing on the vegetables and I was focusing on the sprouts, I was focusing on like, you know, uh, it's all these different vegetables. I pack my lunch, I'd go to, to go to work with this big vegetable and little fruit box and whatever and I'd be eating and I'd be so gassy. I remember I had to go to the store and buy Beano's enzyme to help me break down the vegetables so I wouldn't be so gassy at work because I was farting all the time. And then I remember making the switch to more fruit. So I was like, okay, screw the vegetables, let's just focus on the fruit. Boom, energy went up, digestion was up, no issues with gas at all, and I just enjoyed my meals much more. It was much easier to feel satisfied and didn't have to waste stomach space with these hard to digest vegetables. Um, so what to eat instead? Fruit. Uh, if you're wanting your minerals, if you're wanting all the benefits of vegetables, I recommend fresh green juice. If you don't want to go out and make fresh green juice, like I don't really like going out and make fresh green juice, go out and buy the fresh green juice. If you don't want to go buy the fresh green juice, buy some Daily Green Boost. You can get a link for that in the description. The reason I like Daily Green Boost is because it's instant green juice. All you gotta do is take the bottle, open the cap, pour it in a cup, add water, stir it, knock it back, drink it. Or, you have your smoothie, you're already making your smoothie, fruit smoothie, add some Daily Green Boost in there, knock it back right there. Daily Green Boost is loaded with vitamin A, vitamin K, those are two nutrients that the carnivore movement right now is saying that vegans can't get. Daily Green Boost is loaded with that. You're getting your daily requirements of vitamin A, vitamin K, along with tons of other minerals, including uh, nutrients like iodine, okay? So if you want to get your iodine, you want to get all your uh, essential minerals in, Daily Green Boost is a great way to go. Another mineral boosting food that you can be consuming is something called shilajit. So I put a little bit of shilajit in my smoothies, and it's a massive mineral booster right there. Look into shilajit. Again, the link is in the description. So. Between Daily Green Boost, the occasional fresh green juice, and uh, Shilajit, all your mineral needs are covered. On top of, of course, a high quality organic fruit diet. Um, if you need to supplement with something, then sure, look into that. But just know that there's no such thing as a vegan-only issue. There's no such thing as a vegan-only deficiency. There's no such thing as a raw vegan or fruitarian-only deficiency. Um, people eating any type of diet are likely to be low in certain things like B12 and vitamin D and iodine and those are really the main three, three ones right there but even iron especially girls especially athletic girls um, so it doesn't matter what diet you're eating you're likely to be low in these things and like if you look at an Olympic athlete you know they're, they're all supplementing with iron the kid Olympic athlete they're all supplementing with B12 because their mentality isn't like oh my god, my diet must be deficient or there must be something wrong with me. Um, their approach instead, their mentality is, why not? Why wouldn't I supplement with this? Why not? Would, there's no harm in doing it. Like, you might as well get all those levels boosted. So, that's how I see it as well. If you want to supplement with vitamin D, go for it. If you want to supplement with vitamin B12, go for it. If you want to supplement with minerals, go for it. But just don't think you need to eat vegetables if you don't want to eat vegetables, man. I quit eating vegetables. I haven't eaten vegetables in the longest time. Uh, the only, like... Vegetables I'll eat now would be leafy greens, like spinach, baby spinach, and some lettuce, some romaine lettuce, uh, maybe those, that little box of mixed greens, organic mixed greens, um, or celery. Celery is like my favorite. I got a thing for celery, but uh, I prefer celery juice for sure. So that's it. Um, that's why I don't eat vegetables, and don't think you need to eat them either if you don't want. All right, that's it for now. Peace out, much love. Hope you got something from this video. If you want to go into a deep dive uh, masterclass with me on how to have the healthiest feeling and best looking body of your life, you can click the link in the description and I'll bring you right to a sign up page to come join me for a masterclass on that. All right. So that's it for now. I'll see you at a fruit festival near you. Ciao for now. Peace.